Hey guys, Molly here. Today I wanted to talk with you about should you share your personal life online as a business owner, as a photography business owner. Now I struggled with this for years. I was like, I don't want people to know what my house looks like or what all the names of my family are or all this personal stuff. Like it felt weird, right? But then as time went on, you know, I really realized that the more I was able to share about my life and what was going on in my life and that I'm just a totally normal regular person that that was when I was able to attract more of my ideal customers. I want to share something with you that was one of the best pieces of uh, advice that I've ever received and that is that you need to be yourself in order for your customers to know, like, and trust you. If you can get your potential customers to know, like, and trust you, they are going to turn into buyers. They're going to turn into clients that want to book shoots with you. And in order to build the know, like, and trust factor, you have to be yourself. You have to share your personal life. And if you want to book clients, just like I had to get over it, you're going to have to get over it too. And, you know, start doing Instagram stories, start doing Facebook lives, start sharing videos, start sharing blog posts about your life. You know, what are your favorite foods? Why did you get into photography? You know, what are your hobbies? Because when people start to relate to those things, like, oh, I like ice cream too. I like photography too. You know, I got into my job for the same reasons. People start to build a bond with you online and they know, like, and trust you. And then they want to book a shoot with you. As you know, there are tons of different photographers out there. And that is exactly how you stand out in a sea of photographers is by being yourself and sharing that with the world.